Hello, welcome to your class today. Today I have a short practice to help you with your balance. So just to focus on the muscles that we need strengthening to help us balance a little easier. Um, I do have a ball and a resistance band. So if you do have these props, go and grab them. Do not worry if you don't have them, you can do everything without, okay? They just little helpers and they can help us to focus a little bit better as well on the exercises. So go roll out your mat or you can do this without the mat, absolutely. You can also grab yourself a chair if you want to have a chair close by or anywhere stand nearby if you need to hold on, absolutely fine. And then let's begin. Okay, great. So we start by warming up our feet. So just stand with your feet directly underneath your hips. You can place your hands onto your hips or rest your arms next to your body. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall. And then all we're going to do is lifting up one heel, lower down and lift the other heel. So we're waking up our feet, pressing into the ball of the foot. You're pressing your heel forwards. Now, as you do that, let's already pay attention to our pelvis. And right now we're keeping the pelvis as still as possible. Think about lengthening up nice and tall. Yeah, so we don't want to be dipping into our hips. We don't want to do this, going with the hips side to side, but keep lengthening up. Good, now when you're ready, see if you can pick up the toes and then lower down. So we've got this brief moment of balance already, toes and down. Then you lift the toes, imagine you had a tissue and you're picking up the tissue with your toes, you're flinging it forward and then you let it go and put your foot down. Pick up the tissue, leave it out in front of you, toes down and release. And grab it with your toes, lower and heel down. And do that a few more times. So with this exercise, we are beginning to strengthen, wake up the soles of our feet. So all the muscles in the soles of our feet, the arches of our feet. Just a couple more. That's it. And down. Brilliant. Okay. If you have a ball, you can use it. You could even use a rolled up towel. We're going to place the ball right up between our thighs. So keep the feet Hip distance slightly wider is fine, but you should feel the ball is there. The ball helps us to engage our inner thighs a little bit more. These muscles, when they're working, will help us to draw up and lengthen, help with our balance overall. From here, we're going to inhale, bend the knees, stay nice and upright, just sweep the arms in front of you. Exhale, straighten your legs, arms down. Do that again, inhaling. Ball helps us with the alignment of our knees as well, in line with the toes, arms down. Inhale. When you're ready, exhale, see if you can rise up onto our toes. Lower the heels, bend the knees. And stand up tall, squeeze the ball. That's it. So feel how using the inner thighs Drawing up internally can help with our balance. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Bend. Good. Now, this might be wobbly, right? The ankles might be a little bit wobbly. That's quite normal. You can always hold on to the wall or to a chair with one or even both hands and practice this way. We're working our calf muscles as well, which are important for our upright posture, for standing tall and without balance. Good, let's do three more. Good, last one. Probably feel those calves a little bit. And release, well done. Let's take that ball out and we're gonna swap it for our resistance band. Again, do not worry if you don't have one. If you're using it, you place it above your knees. And for this exercise, we're going to step the feet a little bit wider. Good. So having the band gives us again an opportunity to focus, to press against something, 
Now we are strengthening the muscles here on the outer thighs, on the outer hips. Again, super important for our balance. Here we go. We inhale, press the palms together. Exhale, stand up, tall arms down. Let's just do three or four, nice and steady, grounding through the feet. You're sending your hips back, your spine is nice and straight, and you come back up. Good. Let's add on. So as you come back up now, shift your weight over your right leg and just lift your left heel. And you feel the weight now over your right side. Inhale, back to the center, bend. Exhale, shift over your left. And we just lift it out right here. That's it. So now we're teaching the body to transfer weight from one foot, one leg to the other. Let's keep going. Keep pressing your knees out to the side every time you go down. Press into the band. Good. If it feels a little wobbly, stick with this. If you'd like to take it a step further, you can lift your leg and press it out. And then step it down into your squat. Lift up, press and pull up through your standing leg. There we've got that length and lift again. And down to the center and lift and step it back down very nice and lift press and down. good keep that going having the band around the leg almost provides a little bit more stability as well right gives us the opportunity to really press against it and it's kind of helping us to draw in and up right if your balancing is going really well, on the next one, you're gonna stay. If it's wobbly, keep moving from one leg to the other. If you are here, do little pulses out. Two, three, four, five, good. To the other side, go down into your squat. Transfer the weight, stand tall, shoulders down. Use your eyes to gaze at. One, two, three, four, Five, one more time to the center and stand up nice and tall. Great, good. We can take that band off. Good, the next exercise, we're going to, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see better. We're going to take a step backwards because we can't see, it's a little bit more challenging for the balance, right? We're going to gaze out in front of us, find a nice steady point to look at, okay? We can start with a smaller step and see how that goes. So take the left foot, step it back slightly to the left so it's a little bit easier to balance. Bend your knees, we're gonna cross our arms and then step it forwards, arms next to your body. We'll keep switching. Step the other foot back, find the floor, bend and come back up. Now don't worry, you might just take a small step and just take a mini bend into your knees. You might be really high up here and explore this position here, see how that feels. If you're gaining confidence, if you feel steady, take a bigger step and bend the knees a little bit more. That's it. Now notice you're shifting the body so that your shoulders are still over your pelvis when you go back. Yes, so the whole body shifts, you go down, and then you shift forwards over both feet. That's it. It's a really nice exercise for our balance. Doing great. Remember to keep breathing. Sometimes when it's wobbly, we hold our breath, try and breathe. Good, how are you doing? Should we do just two more? Yes, requires quite a lot of concentration. And come back, brilliant. Give your legs a little shake. Okay, brilliant. One more exercise actually, two more. So this one, we'll start with the feet under our hips. We'll inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down again, pick up one here, like we did at the beginning, then think of picking up your tissue and lift the knee up. 
Now place your hands against your thigh and press against the leg. And actually that pressure, hands, leg, is going to help with our core engagement to help us switch on. Lower the foot down, arms up, inhale. Exhale, take your hands straight away to the leg this time, lift up, press. Please be careful not to lean back. Keep the ribs in. You've got your super strong center helping you now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, pick up your toes as if you're picking up something, a tissue, pencil, press against your thigh. Inhale. Exhale. So this is where we need those strong hip muscles. All the classes we do on the mat, we'll do our sideline work, leg out to the side, all that hip work is so good to help with your balance, yes? Works the muscles that we need to balance better. Good. Again, you may stick with this if this is going well. Opposite hand to the knee, see if you can add a little twist to challenge yourself. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Press. Good. And it's quite likely that one side is a little bit easier than the other. Maybe one side you can balance really well and then the other side is really wobbly. Good. Notice as well how your mind is reacting to it, right? Do you get agitated when you're wobbling around? Can you keep it relaxed, not get too bothered by it? You're trying your best, right? That's all you can do. And bring it back. Good. Hands to the hips. Pick up the leg one more time and let's rotate our foot this time. Nice circles, other way. Beautiful, lovely. Release your foot down, repeat the other foot. Pull out of your standing leg. Keep the shoulders directly over your pelvis, rotate your foot. Yes, good. Breathe. Brilliant. Well done. Fit down. Last one. Keep switching legs. This time we'll just draw a gentle circle with our knee around. So we're moving the thigh bone in the hip. So on the one side we're trying to find ease of movement in the hip joint. The other side you're really pulling up. It's working really hard on stabilizing. Great. Well done. Release it down. Just one more on the other side. Lengthen up. Look straight ahead. I hide. Notice if your gaze is starting to go down. Try your best to keep your gaze out. I hide. It's going to keep the head in better alignment to the spine. When we look down, we end up going forward a little bit. Let's stay nice and tall. Brilliant, not easy to find that ease of movement and the other side really working hard. Well done, brilliant. Release your legs. Let's just take a roll down here. Inhale, ground your feet. Gently rolling forwards. Feel the feet rooting down into the ground. Releasing the arms, neck and shoulders. Inhale here and exhale, press into the floor to roll yourself slowly back up. Well done. Give the shoulders a nice little roll and take the shoulders back and down. So keep working on your balance. If you have time, you can repeat this video perhaps and do it one more time. Or just practice your balancing exercises as often as possible. You can always pick one or two exercises and keep working on those. You can always leave me a message as well below in the comment sections. I love hearing from you. I wish you a great rest of your day. Keep up your good balance work and I'll see you on the mat very soon. If you enjoyed this routine, 
Please like this video and share it with your family and friends. And if you like to be notified when I post a new video, please press the bell and subscribe to my channel.